everyone. With all the beautiful machine stitched buttonholes out there right now, why would you bother to do a hand stitched buttonhole? Well, maybe you just want to add a vintage touch to your finished project. Or maybe you're working with a heavy coat fabric and are having trouble making a buttonhole you're pleased with by machine. Or maybe you just want to add that special touch to your project. Whatever the reason, hand stitched buttonholes will do the trick. I'm going to use this extra fine thread Invisipil to stitch together the edges of my buttonhole. As the thread will be sitting under my decorative stitches, I don't want it to show or add any bulk. Invisipil is a hundred weight polyester, so while it is strong, my stitches will disappear in my fabric. I will also need a gimp thread to add extra weight and a bit of lift to my buttonhole. For this, I will be using Home Deck. Home Deck is a very strong polyester thread that comes in three sizes. I'll be using the number 40 for this project. For my decorative buttonhole stitch, I will use this 12 weight double gassed cotton thread spaghetti. The tight twist will make stitching easy and the 12 weight thread gives a nice bold finish to my buttonhole. I will also need two hand stitching needles. For the Invisifil, I will use this number 11 sharp needle. And for stitching with spaghetti, I will use a number 7 embroidery needle, which has a larger eye to accommodate the heavier thread. Using a spacing tool and some tailor's chalk, evenly mark the starting point of each of your buttonholes. As buttons all have different depths, here is a trick to mark the length of your buttonhole. Wrap your chosen button with a piece of twill tape going around the fullest part of the button. Pin the ends of the twill tape. Now pull out the button and lay the tape flat. The distance from the pin to the folded edge will be the length of your buttonhole. Measure this length and mark the end of each buttonhole. Use a straight edge and some chalk to mark the buttonhole line. Using a buttonhole cutting tool like this one by Clover, cut along this line. Cut and finish only one buttonhole at a time. Thread a number 11 sharp needle with Invisifil, tying an overhand knot right behind the eye of the needle to prevent it from unthreading. Now begin to do a close whip stitch all along the open edge of your buttonhole to hold the layers together. Next, thread the number 7 embroidery needle with a length of spaghetti. Now, cut a length of the home deck thread twice the length of the buttonhole plus at least an inch. Hold or tape the gimp thread along the cut edge of the buttonhole. Starting at the back end of your buttonhole, begin working a buttonhole stitch along the edge, catching the gimp thread under your stitch. Work the buttonhole stitches close together for a nice pearl edge along the cut edge of the buttonhole. When you get to the front end of the buttonhole, work three or four stitches around the curve before going back down the other side of the buttonhole, making sure to still catch the gimp thread underneath. Work a tack stitch of three or four stitches across the width of your buttonhole. Pull your thread to the underside and thread the end through the underside of your stitches before trimming it off.
thread the gimp thread through the large eye needle to pull it to the underside and cut it off. Repeat this for all of your buttonholes. That is all there is to it. While this is a bit time consuming, it will definitely add a special touch to your project. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe for more great tips and tutorials. We'll see you all next time.